Hey guys, this is for Man over here, also known as Troy, and I have some terrible news for the oldies music community. You know, I listen to um, nice good oldies music from like the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s and 80s music. Yeah, a little bit of 90s. Um, music professor um, 78. Um, has been um, shut down by YouTube. Now, if you don't know who Music Professor 78 is, he um, he has a YouTube channel, and you know it's called you know, Stuff 78, and he has old records that's like mostly from the 50s and 60s, and yeah, he does have some like 1940s, 30s, and 20s music there. I, I think a little bit of 1910s. I, I, I've listened to a couple of 1910s music that he had. Uh, and, um, it's sad to see him go. Um, this is a huge loss for the, um, the, oh, um, the oldies music community because he has been struck by copyright so many times that, um, he has been um, deleted. YouTube just wants them to go away. Um, music companies, I guess that um, companies that are restoring the um, the music, I guess um, that they're restoring it. I guess they want like a copyright claim for these types of music. Um, that the records that he posts, he has over twelve thousand records in the channel. Just it's 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 sad that he's gone. You know, um, twelve thousand records is just on the, just going down the drain. It's just all that hard work, all of that, um, that all of that hard work that he's done and his passion, his uh, his passion to make, um, you know, to put old records into you know the computer for everyone else to see. It's just amazing, you know. And uh, YouTube is just being so unfair to him and. They have him terminated, and I hate to see that because he was one of the main sources that I could use for to listen to um, 1950s and 60s music and 40s and 20s and 30s um, music, and um, you know during you know the, the big jazz band era, and it's sad to see him go. Um, now hope hopefully we can get him back. Okay, hopefully. Um, just like um, like back in December, um, there was a guy. There was a guy named um, Phonomono78. Okay, um, he ha he has mostly he does 1920s and 30s music as well. And what I like about his channel is he puts not just British bands and um, American bands. He puts Cuban bands. And also, he also puts, um, German bands, so, which I think is really, really cool, um, German bands, because I never heard of 1920s and 30s German bands before, and, um, they sound really, really awesome, so, but, he got hit down by copyright, okay, and, um, he was deleted, but he also came back, and his videos were back. Okay, I think he had like over 5,000 records in that in that um in his channel. But let's see what happens for what happens to Music Professor 78, or, you know, Music Prof 78. Um, let's see if he could, you know, um, come back because like I said, I I'm gonna miss his uh because um I'm gonna miss his records because some of his records. Are so rare that you couldn't really look it up. You know what I mean? That's how rare some of the records were. I mean, are. So, um, yeah, man, that's just sad, you know? And, uh, that's just been terrible, terrible news. And YouTube, not just you know, us, like, I I'm saying, like, why does YouTube, um, does this? I mean, hell. I have copyright all, all the time sometimes, and uh, like I said, I talked about my Sino and Japanese war, um, that's blocked. 
because of copyright or because of making a video. Um, my question is that, why do you like to do this to people? Like, why? All that hard work, just going down the drain like that. You know? Something that he loves, something that he enjoys, and it's just going down the drain. And these copyright laws were written way before the internet was even, you know, there. You know, way before. You know, I mean, I mean, I get it if, like, for example, if you steal this video and you don't have my permission from it, yeah, I could, you know, sue you for that. But, like, my question is that why, why, why do you care? You know, for example, if I, like, download a um, music about um, Marion Harris, you know, she was a good singer back in the 1920s and 30s, and I put it into this, um, video, alright, alright, and, like, why would you care, okay, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a the song's, a, it's 90 years old, okay, you know, like, why, why, why would you care, you know what I mean, the song's 90 years old, okay, you know, sometimes, some over 100 years old, you know, it's, it's ridiculous, and I hate when they do this to music channels, you know what I mean? Music that I love and I listen to, like, to be honest, guys, I don't listen to modern music, okay? I do not listen to modern music, I don't listen to Justin Bieber, I don't listen to, what's that, what's that girl's name, Megan Trainer. I don't listen to, uh, you know, my cousin was rambling about it the other day, like, Christina, something, I, I forgot, but like I said, I don't really pay attention to, um, most of modern singers today, you know what I mean, and, or, you know, and, just sad, you know. I like <sighs> YouTube just likes to do this to people. I have no idea why. You know. I even get mad just by talking about it. It's just it, it's sad to see him go. But let's see. Let's pray if he could come back. Because I love his music channel. I love his music. He was the number one. He was one of the number one sources. For so I for music like that, you know what I mean? I, you know, uh, you know, it's uh, he ha he makes really really good music like right there. And I also have another friend, and I think you should you should support him. Okay, he ma he ha ha he has 1910s and 20s music as well. It's called Pax 41 Time Music Time Machine. Um, he posts um old music. Um, that's from the 1910s and 20s and 30s, sometimes 40s. Um, that's in the second channel, K Pax 41, which I'll I'll list those two um, down in the description below. Um, he does make his content, and I bet he has the the, um, the issues. And he's been doing. He's one of the oldest YouTubers out there. He's been doing this for almost 13 years for you know publishing 1920s and 30s music. And he has over 2,000 videos, I think. I, I, I think it's 2,000 videos. I'm not. I'm not really positive. I'm not really sure. But um. But yeah. Um. Support him because I bet he has the problem. The same problems that music professors Esther had. So um. Please support um. Pax 41 Music Time Machine if you like that stuff. If you um enjoy 1920s and 30s music. I mean I do. You know what I mean. And I, I love that time and I love that type of music um, for that time and uh, I, ju I, yeah, I just think it's interesting and I just think it's you know it's relaxed it's rela it's relaxing and it's really good to listen to I like how um, you know I like how um, um, I can't even think right now I'm so angry right now but um that this is happening. Um, I like it how uh, I like how there's no all right that you know there's no I mean the, obviously the music's not really really clear you can you, you barely hear the lyrics but um you know but I just like you know like I don't know I don't know what else was about it about um. You know, like about like the trumpets and all that. You know, like you know, jazz age. You know, you think of 1920s music. You guys know what I'm talking about. 
I, I put non-copyright 1920s music in my 1920s documentary. If you haven't watched, I'll link down in that. I'll link that down in the description as well. But yeah, I hate to see him go. Um, I'm gonna look at my phone right now and see what you mean. And then uh, I don't want this video to be too long. I just want to spread some bad news about music professor. Let's see. All right, so he's out of here. But his playlist is, like I said, he has a, a lot of playlists. This guy um, is there. I'm, I, I'm gonna download as many as I can, but um, I'm not sure if you guys could see it. I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but see, most of it is his playlists, and. Yeah, I don't think you guys can see. Let me let me turn on the brightness. All right, so let me turn on the re, um the brightness here, and uh, sound better. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's the bright? Oh, there it is. Let me turn on the brightness. Maybe you guys can see it much better. You can see it right yeah his channel would be above here because I put uh, music prof that's his playlist he's gone he's completely gone but his playlists are still here um which is good um, but I'm gonna but when you click on them it's deleted so um, but I can still download them so I'll download many as I can before they're 100% gone I mean some of them are, are up but they're just weird you know um, so, like I said, 12,000 record, 12,000 videos is a lot. So, um, so yeah, um, that's really sad for the um, for the oldies music community, such as myself, that listen to that type of music, and um, and that's just a sad loss um, for um, Music Professor 78. And, I, and like I said, I love his uh, his stuff. So. Alright, so I don't want this video to be too long, but just a little quick little rant about um, the copyright stuff in the end. Like I said, this, the, the copyright, first of all, the copyright laws were written years before the internet was even invented. You know, so, you know, like, why, why would anyone care? I mean, like I said, I get it if... For example, you, you download this video, and you put in your video claiming that you did it, and you're not asking my permission, then yeah, I could, you know, you know, actually sue you for that, but, you know, but, either than that, like, if I put, like, music, like, for example, like I said, like, with Marion Harris, if I put her in one of my, um, if I put her music in one of my, um, my videos, you know, why would I care? I mean, you know, I mean, why would anybody care? You know, if I, if I'm not, if I, let's be honest, if I, if I, if I'm a, if I'm an artist, if I make music, okay, and if somebody downloads, you know, my, you know, um, if, I, if somebody downloads, you know, music, um, you know, my, somebody downloads my music and puts them in their video, I wouldn't care. You know, why would I care? And plus. That's what more people will listen to my music. So you know, I don't think I don't think Mary would care either, even though she's been dead for seventy years. But you know, I, I don't think she would even care either. I believe in spirits, so you know what I mean. So okay, hey, you never know she could be here, <laughs> but you know, I don't know why she would even care. So I don't know why we're getting struck by copyright if by music or film. I would not, I don't know why that's in care. And plus, who would have the time to, to make, like, to copy the same thing? Like, who would have, to, who would have all the time in the world to do that? I don't get it. But anyway, you know what I mean? Copyright laws are just, you know, see, I'm about to curse, you know, I'm so pissed. You know, it's, it's, copyright laws are just bullshit, you know what I mean? But, see you later, alright, you know? I'm signing off. Alright.